I apologize. There's no dark mode on Sporkle, okay? I wish that there was. This quiz is called Increasingly Difficult um, Visual Math. I don't understand really what I'm looking for. Okay, no, no, I don't. So the, the, the image, the emoji is going to be the variable that we're trying to solve, okay? People are like, stop doing TV quizzes. Start doing real quizzes. Okay, fine. I'll do some freaking math or whatever, okay? So something cubed divided by 2 equals 108, which means that something cubed equals 216. <laughs> oh, man. Which means that I'm going to say that that number is the number that, don't, I'm not looking, equals 216. It's six. It's six. The pair equals six. Six, six cubed divided by two equals 108. Boom. Okay. A banana plus banana times banana equals 56. Okay, I can do this. This is seven. Seven plus seven times seven equals 56. Strawberry squared plus strawberry equals 72. That's eight. Okay, I'm finding a pattern here so far. Banana plus banana equals grape. So a grape equals two bananas. And then a grape divided by a banana equals a banana. This is two. The number is two. What? Two plus two equals four. Four divided by two equals two. Wrong fruit. I did the wrong fruit. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. This is grape equals three. What? The square root of watermelon equals pineapple divided by four. Pineapple squared equals 400. Fucking like, <laughs> what? okay, find the value of the watermelon. The water, okay, just everyone chill out, okay? Everyone relax. 20 squared is 400. So the pineapple is 20. The pineapple divided by four is five. Which means the square root of watermelon equals 5, which means the, the watermelon is 25. Okay, he's done it. He's done it. Pair times 6 equals pair plus 20. It's so simple. 20 equals 6. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, I, I, get, I, I need a piece of paper, okay? Pair equals pair plus 20 divided by 6. Of course. Or pair times 6 minus 20 equals pair. So true. That is so true. And then you got to do some... You got you to gotta reason it, okay? So there's 6 pairs on one side. There's 1 pair on the other side. If we subtract... One pair, five pairs equals 20, which means we're dealing with four. Ooh. <laughs> Pineapple divided by three equals watermelon. Watermelon divided by three equals five. What's the value of the pineapple? Okay, it's very simple. I need a piece of paper. <laughs> so three watermelons equals five. So let's... Which means that a pineapple equals three watermelons, and three watermelons equals five. The pineapple's five. Oh, son of a bitch. Look, it's been 17 years since I've done this. I've, I need... It's 45? I was close then. I, got, I was half right. Strawberry times strawberry equals eight plus pineapple. Two minus pineapple equals pineapple. Pineapple equals one, which means strawberry equals three. He's a genius. He's a genius. Blueberry factorial equals 84 plus blueberry times eight.
Okay, hold on. I can do this. I swear to you. I can do this. Six hundred and seventy two plus eight blueberries. Then you go to the other side, you're gonna sub no, okay, that's <laughs> this is equals eighty four plus blank times eight. I don't think I can do this without a piece of paper in front of me, just to be honest with you. So in my head, I think I'm overcomplicating it. I'm going like, oh, what is blueberry factorio or factorial? It's blueberry times blueberry minus one times blueberry minus two. So then I, but then I'm like, I, and how do you get that to the other? And what is the inverse uh, function of, uh, of a factorial? It's a malarial I don't know where the M came from. I'm going to say, look, it's not one. It's not two. What about, what if you started at five? So five factorial is 120. 84 plus five times eight is not going to get you there. Six factorial is 720. Six, 90. No, okay, so it's got to be seven. 91 times eight. It's going to be like 720 something. It's got to it's it's got to be seven, wrong. I went one too far, didn't I? It was six, six factorial. It's thirty. One twenty, two forty. Am I crazy? Ninety times eight is seven twenty. Yeah, but it, oh yeah, well yeah, but six factorial isn't seven twenty, is it? Six times five is 30, times four is 120, times three is, oh yeah, it is, okay. <laughs> it is, and you said it? <laughs> it's why you need a piece of paper. They wouldn't, look, could I do this shit? Absolutely. I'm actually like pretty cracked at algebra. The thing is, I gotta have the, I gotta have a whiteboard in front of me in order to do it, okay? I'm telling you. I'm better. I'm not better at algebra than anybody in chat, but I'm definitely better than the average. Hold on. Give me some more math puzzles. Are you, why are there so many quizzes that are like um, periodic table of elements? So one quiz of periodic table is like good enough. It's not like they're adding new stuff to it. Organic functional groups. Minute math addition? No, we're not going to do minute math. I, I honestly, algebra. Can you do easy algebra? Okay, but it needs to be, I, I want it to be like that picture quiz that we just had. Does anybody know the name of that quiz type? Find the algebra tiles. No, that's not. The quiz type is called pineapple melon. Okay. I think it's picture box, right? Picture box. No quiz is found. Well, obviously it's not picture box because we would have seen it. Sort by. Short by popularity. Put it on play count. Can you do probability? Dude, I love probability. Let's do probability. You get to, you get to um, multiply fractions by each other. Can you name the probability for choosing these outcomes? Holy cow. All right. <laughs> this is, I don't know. This is not a picture quiz. This one's going to be a little boring for people that are not uh, me or yelling in chat, but I love this. I love stats. I love stats. Okay, ready? Probability for drawing one card from a regular deck. All right, ready? 
probability of drawing a, a card that is a jack. We have ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. 13 cards. The answer is one in 13. Whoa! Okay. Higher than a 10. That would be three in 13. Unless you count an ace, in which case it would be four in 13. Okay. Red card. That would be one half. Assuming we're taking the jokers out. Not lower than a five. So five or greater. Two, three, four. I think it's 10 and 13. What are the odds of it not being a black three? That's um, 50 of 52, which is 25 of 26. He's insane. He's actually incredible. What, is, what are the odds of it being a black card or higher than a jack? Okay. Let me, let me think about this shit for a damn second, okay? So there's a 50% chance that it's going to be a black card to begin with. But then there's also, higher than a jack, there's, uh, that's two. That's eight in 52, which is uh, four in 26, which is two in 13. But then, wait, it's four of 52. Four of 52, but then half of them are already covered in the original set, which is higher than a jack. I'm going to say that this is 26 of 52 plus 4 in 52. I'm going to say this is 30 in 52. I'm going to say it's 15, 26. I have to pass it. I have to pass it. I'm sorry, I pass. What are the odds is not a diamond? That would be um, 39 of 52. Not a diamond. That's seven, it's three of four. Sorry, I'm stupid. Um, not a heart and higher than a seven. Okay? So it's got to be, first off, it's 75% odds. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means you got eight, nine, ten, eleven, eight, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, which is six times three is eighteen. <laughs> There's how many cards are there that fulfill this? I get so just give me a second, okay? And ace, you're right. Okay, so there's seven. There's twenty-one cards that fulfill this. Twenty-one of fifty-two. What are the odds you get a queen of diamonds and a king? Zero? <laughs> a king or a red three? Well, a red three is uh, one in 26. A king is four of, tw of 52, which is one in 13, which is two in 26. So the answer is four in 26 or two in 13. Okay, let me try this again. Red three is two of 52. King is 4 and 52. So it's 6 and 52, which simplifies to 3 and 26. He's insane. Okay, okay. Dice are a little easier. What are the odds when you roll two fair dice? What are the odds you get a sum of 6? Okay. Well, the odds are, hold on. This is just, you got to get the first one first, okay? The odds that you get a sum of six, there's a one in five chance plus a one in, see, one in five chance for the first dice that you have a valid roll, and then a one in five chance you fulfill the roll. It has to happen more than 4% of the time. That doesn't make sense. I'm doing it backwards here. Or not, not backwards, just incorrect. Here, let's come back to this one. Sum of more than one. This is, the odds of this are 100%. <laughs> Both rolls the same, that's one in six. Sorry, one in six. 
Difference of two between the rolls. I got to go back to the damn drawing board. Just give me a piece of paper. It's just, it's computer programming. You need to roll a one to five first. So there's a one in, there's a five in six chance first, and then a one in six chance of fulfilling the number you need. So it's a five in 30 chance. It's a one six chance. Hold on. Hold on. We're so close. I'm visualizing the numbers in my head. No, it's a, it's a, cause it's the first one is five or six. The second one is one in six. It's a five in 36 chance. Okay. Sum of three or nine. Now this shit is impossible. Let me think. To get something that sums into three. <laughs> Fuck you. Sweet piece of fucking shit. I need, I need more than 18 minutes to do this, man. Sum of three or nine. Okay, what are the odds that you get a sum of three? You need to get a one. So it's a two in six on your first dice and then a one in six. So that is a two in 36. So we're just going to put two in 36 for, just to hold it there for a second. And then the sum of nine, you need to roll a, uh, you have a four in six chance times a one in six chance. So you have a two in 36 and a four in 36. Which equals... Fucking like eight in a million <laughs> it equals eight in eight in a million. Four thirty six. How do I resolve the odds of these two things happen? One of these two things has to happen, which means they should just be added and then divided by two. Which means it's a three in thirty six chance. Which means it's a. They don't divide by two. You just add them. It's a six in thirty six chance. It's which is a one in six. Okay. A sum. Hey, we got. We got there. We got there. A sum of less than nine. The first roll is irrelevant. <laughs> Wait a minute. Less than nine. Well, no, because a one is guaranteed and a two is guaranteed. And then three, four, five, and six are <laughs> increasingly... Uh, we'll lead us to kings. We'll freaking lead us to kings. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, I gotta think. So how do you get 12? That would be 6-6, six, six, which is 1 in 36. How do you get 11? That's a 2 in 36, because you can get there with a, with a 5 and a 6, or a 6 in a... Well, no, that makes sense. How do you get to 10? There's a lot of ways to get to a 10. There's a lot of ways to get to a 10. You could get there 6, 4, 5, 5. There's probably like a 4 in 36 chance. And then there's... A... And then a 9. That's a lot. I'm going to double... I'm going to say it's an 8 in 36 chance. I'm going to say that just mathematically we get there. Okay, so I'm going to say it's 15 of 36, so it's 21 of 36 we roll under that. 21 of 36 simplifies to... Seven, 7 and 12. All right. Well, I tried. Pass me. It's good problem-solving practice either way. I need to get the whiteboard out, okay? What, is the, what are the odds you get a difference of 2 between the rolls? The odds are one in six, except for the fact that there's two of six for all the numbers that are three and four. So, so, for, for, because you can get two away this way uh, up or you can get two away down. You know what I mean? So like a one can, you can only, if you roll a one on the first dice, you can only roll a three on the other one. But if you roll a three on the first dice, you could roll a one or a five in order to get it right, okay? So, <clears throat> one, two, five, and six, the odds are one in six, which is four of six and then one in six, which is, there's a four in 36 chance 
to start with. That's the first set. Then the second set, if you roll a three or a four, which is two sixths of the time, also known as a third, then let's do it this way. There's two of six on each side as well, which means that if I get this right, I'm going to pog the fuck up. Wait, these are multiplied by each other, which means it's another four of 36, which means it's eight in 36, which means it's one eighth. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought for sure that was it. Okay. What are the odds that the sum is a factor of 24? Hold on, there's some gimmies. Sum of two is a one in 36 chance. <laughs> Wait, your eight of 36 is right? Did I, did I do so? Did I do the simplification wrong? I have to own that. I'm owning that. Difference of one and sum of more than five. Product of, the, okay, I'm moving on. Give me some coin flips. These are 50 50s. Three fair coins tossed. What are the odds that you don't get three heads? The odds are seven in eight. What are the odds you get at least two tails? Well, the odds of each coin flip are 50 50. In order to get two, my, I can feel my brain swimming. The odds of getting at least two tails are one in two times one in two. It's one in four. <laughs> no, it's one in two. Okay, that sounds right. Equal number of heads and tails as zero because you're tossing it three times. What are the odds you get not more than one tail? Okay, I've got it. I've got it. The odds you get not more than one tail. Well, what are the odds you get exactly one tail? That would be, you need to get a tail. Well, I was just literally doing the math to start with. Okay. Um, what are the odds the first two tosses are different? That's one and two, brother. Come on. You, what do you think this is? A Dan, uh, a Dan casino? What are the odds you don't get two heads in one tail? The odds that you don't get that are seven and eight. Okay, no. The, because it's actually three and four. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, what's that? Because okay. you could do it multiple ways. Let's say, uh, let's just think it through, okay? If you get a, if you get a, Head first. That's a one and two, okay? Then you would need to get one head and one tail. Which, no matter what you get first, which is a one and one, you need to get two perfect rolls after, so it's one and four. Listen, you piece of shit. It doesn't matter what you flip first. It doesn't matter what you flip first, okay? Because then you have to have two perfect flips after, which are one and two, one and two. Oh, but then you nod it. Then we got to nod it. So it's three and four. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to do the knot. It matters. You need to sum them. Like, fuck this. What are the odds we get three tails? One and eight. What are the odds? The first and last toss are the same. That's one and two or one head. One head is a seven and eight chance. So we got a one and two plus a seven and eight, which is like a fucking, I don't know. It's like an 11 and 12. Am I crazy? Am I insane? What are the odds you don't get a head in the middle? One in two. What are the odds you get less than five heads? One. Okay, you're drawing two cards from a standard deck with replacement. <laughs> what are the odds you get exactly one queen? It's one in 13. Plus... Or minus one in 13. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> okay. What are the odds they're both diamonds? That's a one in four, brother. Sorry, there's a, um, a one in 16. Okay, I'm back. What are the odds you get one black card and a heart? That is a one in eight. 
Am I crazy? Oh, because you could get... All right. What, what are the odds? Of, <laughs> what are the odds both cards are different? 12 and 13. Oh, because there's replacement. No, wait. It's like because of the replacement, it's all fucked up, dude. I don't know. I don't play Casino Blackjack. The back of the napkin calculation is acceptable. It's... Pass me. We talk, put me back to the 50-50s on the coins. We're, we're running out, out of time here. What are the odds you get two heads and two tails? 50%. Excuse me? What are the odds they're all the same? That should be the first question. That's 1 in 16. It's 1 in 32. It's 1 in 8. <laughs> Okay, yeah, 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 we got there, we got there. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. What are the odds exactly three are either heads or tails? That's got to be a pretty good chance. This is where you start to rationalize, and you're, you're like, you know what? 62% is pretty good. That's a C. I can get out of the class. I can, I can study more for next year. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go... Take me out of this for a second. We, we should be able to get two heads, two tails. First two tosses don't really matter. The next two tosses have to be perfect. Which means it's a one in four. <laughs> it's a one in two. It's a one in eight. It's a four in six. It's a two in seven. It's a... <laughs> no consecutive toss is the same. Okay, first toss doesn't matter. Second toss, there's a 50% chance it's the same. Next toss, 50% chance it's the same. Next toss, 50% chance it's the same. That's a one in eight. What are the odds you get an odd number of heads? Well, how many heads can you get? If you get zero heads, that's not odd. But that, the odds of that are 1 in 8. No, the odds of that are 1 in 16. One head, the odd of that, the odds of that are half as bad. That's a weird way to phrase that. 1 in 8. Two heads. It's the most common. Well, we don't know the end. You know what? I give up. Fuck you. We beat the average, which is insanity. Holy cow. 63 versus 46. My brain? My brain's a little broken. That's an F. I get it. You live in America. You, you did very well in your math class, but you haven't taken geography yet. You still think you're the center of the world. Different countries have different academic standards. I know the American education system, especially the public version, is the crown jewel of the educational systems of the world. You think that the way that it works there is the same way that it works in the Netherlands, is the same way that it works in Japan. I promise you, it, it's a wide world out there. I would, I would encourage you to explore it. By the way, when I typed in probability, every single um, answer that came up is uh, NCAA bracket math. Can you answer these simple probability questions? Get ready. If you flip a fair coin, what are the odds it comes up heads? One and two. If you roll a fair six-sided dice, what's the probability you get an odd number? One in two. Come on. A spinner is divided into six equal sections. Three blue, two yellow, one red. What are the odds you land on a yellow section? That's one in three. See, this is more like it. What are the probabilities your card is an ace? One in 13. If you flip a coin a hundred times and it comes up heads, what can you conclude? You can conclude neither of the above. It could just be a statistical anomaly. A gumball machine contains an equal number of blue, yellow, and red gumballs. If you purchase two gumballs, what are the odds you have a matching pair? The odds you have a matching pair are one in three. 
If you purchase two gumballs, what are the odds you have two blue ones? That would be one in nine. A gumball machine, okay, how many gumballs do you need to purchase to guarantee that you have a matching pair of any color? You need to purchase 102 gumballs. I'm actually, I should have thought about that for a second. That makes sense. Because I, I forgot that, I was like, what if you just get 100 blues first? That would be a matching pair. That would have been a match. That would have eliminated that set. I'd like to apologize for that one. That was actually like one of those Facebook quizzes that's like 100% of kindergartners get this right, but uh, adults over the age of 40 have a bad hit rate. A cat has four kittens. If each kitten is equally likely to be a boy or a girl, which of the following is most likely? All kittens are the same gender. So that's like a one in 16. Two kittens are boys. Two kittens are girls. Three, okay, the most likely outcome is that there's two and two. Oh, I didn't even read the last one. I didn't even read the last one. The last one was like, they're all kittens. What is the expected value of the average of a thousand rolls of a fair six-sided dice? Is 3.5. Okay, we, I'm a little embarrassed. But we did, we, we, we beat the average, but we should have gotten 100, honestly. Biology Dungeon Escape. The evil Dr. Sinister has thrown you into his dungeon and removed the trivia-powered stairs. Can you identify the biology terms to rebuild the staircase and make your escape? The set of energy-releasing processes that is one part of an organism's metabolism. What is the Krebs cycle? What is the Krebs cycle? What is the um, <laughs> What is the Krebs cycle? What is the Krebs cycle? Didn't they change the name recently? Can I get a, a they, I thought they started calling it like glycolate acidosis or something cuz Krebs got canceled. Okay, a biome with low temperatures, tundra. Description for bacteria that cannot survive in the presence of oxygen is anaerobic. The building blocks of protein, those are amino acids. Material within a cell, accepting the nucleus. Cytoplasm, collection of similar cells that carry out a specific function. as an organ, that's tissue, sorry, tissue. Molecule that elicits an immune response. What is uh, <laughs> unwelcome? <laughs> what is it? Thank you. It's not a bit. I mean, I know it's a, a pathogen. Pathogen. I pass. I'm passing on this one. Vascular plant that bears naked seeds, not enclosed in specialized chambers. What is a liverwort? Okay, I pass. Brain region that governs coordination and balance. What is the limbic system? What is the uh, cerebellum? Thank you. Largest artery, aorta. Maximum population size, carrying capacity. Insertion of a hollow needle into the uterus to collect amniotic fluid for fetal genetic testing. What is a... Amnioscoptomy, amnio, amni I don't know this one. I don't know this one. It's something like that, though. Stage of mitosis when chromosomes split and chromatids move apart. I'm going to pass that one. That's a 10th grade question. Any higher primate? Monkey, ape, human. What is... Australopithecus. What is a... Uh, what is a... Uh, Homo sapien. What is a... Ta Emperor Tamarin. Region of repetitive nucleotides at the end of a chromosome that protects it from damage is a telomere. Protein shell of a virus is a capsid. Programmed cell death by ca caused by a cascade of suicide proteins. Apoptosis. Pollen sac at the end of a stamen. I'm going to pass this one. 
Any non-protein molecule or ion, that's a catalyst, sorry, an enzyme. No, wait, it's a catalyst. Any non-protein molecule or ion that is required for the proper functioning of an enzyme. Co-enzyme? I don't know the answer. I, I knew this at some point. I knew this in the 11th grade. Polysaccharide found in fungal cell walls. Chitin. Method for separating nucleo nucleic acids or proteins by measuring movement rate through a matrix. What is a nucleotide assay? What is a... <laughs> what is putting it in a centrifuge? What is a... Um, I knew this is something. It's been too long, man. This is just... This is demoralizing. Take the fourth letter from each answer to spell the primary molecule used in intracellular energy transfer. Nope. I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> is it adenosine triphos? It is. Okay. We beat the average. Confirmed. If you get a four-year degree in biology, you can beat the average. Let's go. Cofactor. Okay, which which one of these could I have gotten? Potentially amniocentesis, potentially antigen. Cat catabolism? Take I don't know. Yay. I would like to read the first question again. I feel like cat catabolism is not part of metabolism. In my personal opinion, they're two separate they're two separate processes. I might be wrong though. No, that's not right. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I just finished my architecture master's. Congratulations. Do people ever do shit? If you have like a degree that requires like real kind of engineering practical skill, do people do the thing they do um, when you have a degree in a soft science where they ask you to like prove it? Does anyone ever go, oh, you have a master's in architecture? Like, why don't you build me a house then right now? So that's what people do. Like when, when you have a degree in biology, people treat you like they, you just told them you're colorblind. They'll be like, oh, really? You have a bachelor's in biology? Um, what genus do deer belong to? And I'm like, I don't know, ungulates? And they're like, that's the family, idiot. I asked you for the genus. Okay, let me... We, probability 101 was pretty good. I don't want to do Nobel Physics Laureates by citation. That's a zero waiting to happen. History of vaccines, the nitrogen cycle, Linux logos, <laughs> Earth's water distribution. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I don't think I can do that. It's nice to activate a different part of my brain, though. I do, dude, the probability questions are kind of sick. I kind of love them. Can we sort by play count, please? No, oh, because the play count is all NBA. Man, they're all NBA. Holy cow. Top 50 NBA players by Hall of Fame probability according to basketball reference. I, come on. Can you name the correct order of events on the right from most likely to least likely? This is, quiz is way too complicated. There's not a lot of probability questions, honestly, or probability quizzes. It's a good exercise just to remind yourself how bad the human brain is, though. Can you pick the songs in order of the length of time given in their titles? <laughs> Easy math? Minute math? Anything but seven. Science grab bag. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. I, okay. We've done this one. We've done this one. I'm, I'm trying to find a good one. Sometimes it just takes a minute. How about almost useless science trivia? Might be a little small. 
What is one of the alternate names for NACL? Table salt. <laughs> what number is 10 to the 12 in the US, but 10 to the 18 in the UK? What is a pound? What is a Google Plex? I have no idea. A ton? What is the only woman with two Nobel Prizes, one in chemistry, one in physics? Marie Curie. What do you call a line segment that connects any two points on a circle? A radian. Radia. Radia. It's called a bisector. What is the more common name for negative log of H3O plus? Acidity. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's hydrogen ions. I don't know what H3O plus is. Negative log, it's the mole. It's the molar, it's the concentration. It's the, I'm passing. What comes between species and family? Nothing comes between me and family. Um, genus, right? Donkey Kong plays cool or fun games. Genus. Which British, British scientist came up with the three laws of motion? Newton. What is the non-technical name for dihydrogen monoxide? That would be water. Name, this is the Fibonacci secret. Come on. What is the movement of water through a selectively permeable membrane? That's osmosis. What star is closest to Earth? That would be the sun. What is the name for zero Kelvin? Absolute zero. What trigonomic function is the same as sine divided by cosine? That would be tangent. Geometrically, what is the specific structure of a DNA molecule called? Double helix. See, this is the greatest science quiz because you don't have to know anything about science. You just have to remember things. Like you don't have to do anything in a lab. You don't have to have good lab laboratory protocol and not screw up your samples or anything like that and make sure your timing's all right. And, oh, I can't tell whether this fruit fly is a male or female because the, uh, I, the ass isn't big enough. Like, this is just like, hey, we told you something. What did we tell you? And I'm like, there it is. What, is this, what type of radiation is the shortest wavelength? That's got to be gamma. That's how they made the Incredible Hulk. Name any noble gas that isn't radioactive. Argon. That's right. There's more than one answer. What is a more common name for a regular hexahedron? What is a hexagonal prism? What is a hexagon? What is a... Um, what is a D20? What is a cube? Uh, yay! Most abundant element in the atmosphere, nitrogen. What is the SI unit for energy? What is a watt? What is a... What is a Newton? What is a Jewel? That fucker's English? His name is Jewel? PV equals NRT. Don't even start with me. You think I don't know the ideal gas law? For a pair of points, what does Y minus 2 over X minus 2, a.k.a. rise over run, represent? It represents the slope of the line. Name either of two bases that completes this set. Guanine, cytosine, adenine, thymine. C is the speed of light. What German-speaking friar invented the field of genetics? That would be Gregor Mendel. Also the main character from Franz Kafka's The Metamorphosis. What process is the opposite of oxidation? That's called reduction. What does a plant cell have surrounding it? A cell wall. What is the world's largest and highest energy particle accelerator? That's the large... Hadron Collider at CERN. Using element symbols, describe, decode this message. Sulfur, polonium, carbon, potassium. Spoke, Spock. Yes, okay. What, num what kind of number has factors that sum to itself? That's called a perfect, I was going to say perfect square, but they gave it to me. Thank you. What are the hair-like sensory motion structures on the outside of cells called? Cilia. I give up. I'm, I'm happy with my performance. Tr a trillion is different in the UK than it is in the, in the, in the US? Really? I hate to be on America's side, 
in anything, but especially numbers? Where does Canada fall? In Canada, a million is 10 to the 6, a billion is 10 to the 9, and a trillion is 10 to the 12. What do they call it? Like, if Jeff Bezos was British, what would they call him? They would call him rich. Yeah, but what would they... A proper bloke. He would be a milliardaire? What the hell are you talking about? It doesn't even make any sense. What? Oh, it, it, it's inherited from French? Okay, I take back my negativity. I take it back, okay? The quiz is outdated by like 100 years. Well, the website's been around for a while. A chord connects any two points on a circle, of course. And then PH, that's the biggest whiff of all. To be fair, to, to be fair, I said acidity. That's not the industry term, but... Acidity is pH. The acidity of something is its, is its pH. Or it's basicity. Sure, okay. I, I think honestly, and this is not just copium, I think if we went to commercial break on Jeopardy and I didn't get points for saying acidity, they would have come back and been like, we decided to award you the points as well. I think because Jeopardy doesn't want to get sued. It happens on Jeopardy all the time. Sometimes you're like, they got lucky. Sometimes you're like, okay, that's fair. How about almost useless? Almost useless music trivia followed by food. Okay. <clears throat> of course, Twitch chat has higher standards than Jeopardy. Jeopardy is actually kind of easy. Name any song on Nevermind. Smells like teen spirit. What band did Paul McCartney form in 71? Wings. What city is home to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Cleveland. What country is home to ABBA and the Cardigans? Sweden. The Stratocaster is made by Fender. Name either Gallagher brother. Noel. Which singer starred as Jareth in Labyrinth? David Bowie. Seal was married to Heidi Klum. Lars Ulrich is from Metallica. Paul Stanley is from Kiss. Beat It and Billie Jean are on Thriller. 19 and 21 are from Adele. Rick James' song in You Can't Touch This, it's Super Freak. Kenny Loggins' Danger Zone is from the Top Gun soundtrack. Pete Townsend smashed guitars for The Who. ACDC was formed in Sydney. Police studio albums next to you. Ah, crap. <laughs> U2's debut album, Louder Than Bombs. I don't know the answer to, the, to those. By what nickname is Eric... This is so British now. By what nickname is Eric Clapton known? The Clapper? Clappy? The Guitar Maestro. Calvin Broadus is the real name of what rapper? Nas. Jay-Z. <laughs> Whose backing band is known as the Bad Seeds? That's Nick Cave. What Usher song featured Lil Jon and Ludacris? Yeah. I don't, that's, you can tell this isn't a math quiz because he says from a one to 10, she's a certified 20. Doesn't make any damn sense. Any damn sense. Which monkey is missing? Dolan's Nesmith Torque. Uh, Jones. Which beverage was the title of a hit song by Khalees? Milkshake. Weezer sang Hashpipe. Weird Al's parody of Lola is called Yoda. China Splash and Crash are all types of symbols. Seattle Band was originally called Mookie Blalick. Pearl Jam. ZZ Top's drummer is Top. Z? What is the last word in Bohemian Rhapsody? Me. Any way the wind blows. Any way the wind blows. I, the only thing I can think is ZZ Top's drummer, best known for not having a beard. It must be like beardy. 
Anything else? Otherwise, they wouldn't put the context clue in there. And then I give up on the other ones. I feel like I could pro I'm going to know a, a Police Studio album. The rest, uh, fair enough. Synchronicity. Scrantonicity. That's a gimme. Boy. Slow hand. Which is ironic because his hands actually move really fast when he plays. And Snoop Dogg. Calvin brought us. Almost useless food trivia. A prune is a dried form of plum. Georgia is the peach state, also known as Hrothis. Which 2007 Pixar film is named for a type of stew? Excuse me. You and I have different definitions of stew, I think. Yo, A. Hey, Aaron, hey, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Absolute vodka is produced in Sweden. Hibachi means brazier in Japanese. Arborio and basmati are rices. Coleslaw and sauerkraut are cabbages. Foie gras is made from a liver. Foster's is Australian for beer. Lima is a type of bean that's also a capital city. Frosted Flakes has a tiger mascot. Give Me a Break is a Kit Kat. Wendy's has Dave Thomas. The Greek god of wine is Dion... Dionysus. Squishy and Duff are from The Simpsons. Feta cheese is from Greece. I'm in the damn zone. Who hosted the French chef? Julia Child. RC Cola stands for <laughs> Real Cola Cola. Regal Crown Cola. Royal Crown Cola. Okay. Cocktail from vodka and orange juice. The most sophisticated cocktail of all. That's called a screwdriver. Name any ingredient in Spam. Salt. The eggplant in British is known as aubergine. Albumin is a word that refers to... And what edible substance? Blood. <laughs> what? No, egg. Sorry. <laughs> what? Yolk? Egg white? Okay. There's somewhere, something to do with that. I was thinking of... what? What's... Al, isn't albumin also part of the blood? I'm not thinking of hemoglobin. I think it's something in your blood. Hey, Sam Iguino. Thank you as well. Thank you. They do a test of albumin like when you go to donate blood, right? It's a protein. Yeah. What protein-rich vegan food is also known as bean curd? That's tofu. Hummus is made from the garbanzo bean. Liquor made from blue agave, tequila. Farfalle pasta gets his name from the Italian for what insect? Moth? Like butterfly? Yeah, because I, I thought it was named after a bow tie, but okay, fair enough. Lard is pig fat used in cooking. What fish is an ingredient in Worcester sauce? Herring? Anchovy? What scale is used to... Okay, Scoville. And the dude's preferred cocktail is the White Russian. I mean, that's this quiz is, is gimme's. It's, it's too easy. You want some moth pasta? I don't want to eat butterfly pasta either, honestly. I mean, the moth is like the most... I don't like them. But they're the most underrated animal in the animal kingdom. If they had, like, purple wings, people would be like, this shit's so cute. Nobody goes to the damn moth garden. Almost useless gaming trivia. In what country was Tetris designed? Russia. Risk territory in Africa. South Africa. Ultimate uses a Frisbee. The protagonist of the Tomb Raider series, Lara Croft. First generation Pokemon beginning with E. Ekans. Barbie's male doll counterpart, Ken. Any of the body parts from Operation. The Wishbone. Jazz and Megatron are from Transformers. Professor Plum has the name of a fruit. Xbox was launched by Microsoft. What boxer had his own NES game? Mike Tyson. Teddy bear plushes are named for Theodore Roosevelt. Most expensive Monopoly property is Wayfair. I mean, what's the British one? I was trying to flex. It's uh, Boardwalk. It was called Wayfair. In what video game series might you drive on? Rainbow Road. How about Mario Kart? In what video game... Wait, in what game can you score a 50-point bingo by playing seven tiles? That would be Scrabble. What toy hero defends Castle Grayskull? He-Man. Mario made his debut in Donkey Kong. Name any of the six Dungeons & Dragons ability scores. Dexterity. 
Klondike is a variant of what single player card game? Solitaire? Nebraska? Omaha is a type of poker. Legend of Zelda set in Hyrule. What board game features Princess Lolly and Grandma Nut? Candy Land. Name the Pokemon protagonist known as Satoshi in Japan. Ash Ketchum. Skip and Wild Draw 4 are elements of Uno. God of War stars Kratos. Mob, Biome, Ore, and Creeper. That would be Minecraft. When you hit over 21 in Blackjack, you bust. Atari made the Jaguar. Gary Kasparov is the inventor of chess. Sega developed Sonic the Hedgehog for the uh, Genesis. I mean, that's just, that's too easy. Don't make me do animals.